Four steps forward today in the push to build the proposed I-10 Mobile River Bridge. The Eastern Shore Metropolitan Planning Organization unanimously approved the proposed project and placed it on the long-term improvement plan. Mobile's MPO did the same thing last week. NBC 15's James Gordon attended today's vote. James, there will be a lot of trips to Washington now in search for more money. That's right. It's always been about the money, how to pay for the Mobile River Bridge project. And today's move secures more than $300 million, but more will be needed. Building the Mobile River Bridge will take time, money, and extensive lobbying. Today's move by the Eastern Shore Metropolitan Planning Organization to get the ball rolling once again puts the project in all its phases on the MPO's transportation improvement plan. Without us doing that, they could not continue to do studies. The ALDOT could not continue to do studies. The federal government cannot release the $125 million that's been dedicated to this. Today's move also secures $250 million from the state for a total of $375 million. As is, the project approved today it includes a toll truck only bridge. That could change, but it all depends on how much Washington is willing to give in grants and other money. Mark Colson is with the Alabama Trucking Association. They're proposed studying a solution that would impose a truck only toll. We don't believe that's fair. We also don't believe it's effective. And a lot of the comments that are made uh, here today, I think, reflect that. We're hopeful, and that the committee members here today seemed hopeful that a more fair solution could be found. Listen, they are a huge, huge lobby in this nation and a powerful force, and we need their voices to be heard in Washington alongside of ours. Today was all about getting the $725 million project back on track and everyone present, including the Build the Bridge Coalition, which represents Chambers of Commerce and Economic Development, is willing to see it through. This resolution, we think, is a great one because it has so much flexibility. None of us believe the, the specific format it's in right now is going to be the final package. And the goal is for there not to be a toll for anybody. That all depends on how much money they can get out of Washington. Meantime, both the Eastern Shore MPOs, and both of them in Mobile and, in, and in, on the Eastern Shore, will meet together in a joint session July 27th at 5 p.m. That meeting will take place at the Five Rivers Delta Center in Spanish Fork. Now we're live in Baldwin County. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.